if, if you're saying the Eagles need to fix this defense, which which we all agree with, and you say, how do they do it, right? I give a lot of credit to Brett Veach and Steve Spagnuolo and Andy Reid, but if you look at the way this defense has turned around uh, in the past three seasons here, it's really been through the draft. I, I mean, their last two drafts, they've nailed picks. Their whole linebacker court came through this draft here. Uh, Leo Chennault, right? Made play after play last night. Uh, you saw Nick Bolton, key player there, key draft pick for them. They have perhaps the best cornerback combination in the NFL. Both draft picks. Trent McDuffie, we, we keep talking about Kyle Hamilton. I'll give that you a, a couple on Trent McDuffie. I, I yeah. thought hey, I was, I, the, the arms were too yeah. short. I thought the Eagles were not going to be interested. Yeah, He's so very I, good. I, I had heard the Eagles were interested in him with that A.J. Brown pick, right? But very well, like, if, if they don't take Jordan Davis there, we keep saying they could have taken Kyle Hamilton. You could have taken Trent McDuffie. We know there was interest there, right? So, uh, and, and, and then they hit on Snead a, a late in the draft. And they had Chris Jones. Chris Jones is a blue chip player. Yeah, that's yeah. a major factor. Yeah. They signed Justin Reed. That was a good signing. That was a guy we talked about in the and free Mike agent Edwards. market. Yeah, and Mike Edwards. Both guys but, the Eagles could have signed. But they've made some just quality picks on all three levels. And they've rebuilt a defense that was a problem for them a few years ago. Now, this is where I would go the other way and say, this is where Mahomes comes in. Like, okay. you have the flexibility to, to take your time doing sure. things like that when you have Patrick Mahomes on the other side of the ball. But, yeah, I think, I think it's fair to say. Now, it's, it's probably an outlier result in, like, hitting on so many of those picks. But certainly, uh, it's, it's impressive as, as we try to figure out how the Eagles can can move forward yeah you look at it like they traded Tyreek Hill okay and they get uh, Trent McDuffie and George Karloftis in the, in the first round uh two key players for them and then just just looking at their draft history the amount of picks that they hit on uh especially in that 2022 draft it's really it's it's a it's a credit to Brett Veach how and happy do you think Ryan Kerrigan was watching George Karloftis <laughs> recover that fumble uh, uh, probably very happy as Purdue guys but and, and this probably transitions into another discussion here, but if the Eagles are going to trade Hassan Reddick, but even if they don't, they have a first-round pick, they have two seconds, uh, they're going to have all these comp picks. The Eagles are going to have opportunities to add quality, cost-controlled players on their defense in April. But they need to hit on the evaluation and then the, de and then the, the development, right? Like the linebackers in this game, uh, both the Niners and the Chiefs have, have, have good linebackers, but they hit on picks that the Eagles used on Davion Taylor, that the Eagles used on N'Kobe Dean. Like, look at where Fred Warner was picked. Look where Leo Chanel was picked. Look at, I mean, uh, I even Nick Bolton was a second-round pick, right? Like, mm -hmm. like the, um, these are not guys, this is not Patrick Wills taken in the top half of the draft. This is typically, you identify players, you coach them up, and they're key players for you. Yeah, I, I, I kind of uh, dislike when Fred Warner is brought up in this capacity, okay. like because he's the best linebacker sure. in football, uh, like he's a third round pick, and and honestly, like the the track record of first and second round linebackers over the past five ten years is really terrible. Mm -hmm. Like those guys do not usually sure. work out very well. Um, I don't di like. I think the Eagles' general philosophy of how they go about filling the linebacker position is not bad. I, I would agree. like to see them take more late round shots or even spend a little bit more money in undrafted free agency to bring guys in there. But the thing about linebackers is, uh, I was talking about this over the weekend, like there's like 10 linebackers in the league who matter, right? Like there aren't, there just aren't that It's such a difficult position in the NFL today. There aren't that many guys who are like really good linebackers. And so it's not crazy to not have one of those guys. Now, Bolton and Chanel had, had very good games and they're also part of a nice hole mm -hmm. um, that that allows them to you know play a little bit faster. But I like the the comparison to Warner and Greenlaw specifically is is has always just felt a little bit unfair to me because those are unrealistic expectations for the use of those resources. I would agree with that, like especially Warner. But when you look at the Eagles linebackers over recent years, and I agree, I with just you. want more volume. Yeah, but but when you're taking guys in the in the third round, you have to have a better hit rate, right? Uh, now we 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 need to see what happens with Nicobe Dean, 
But that Davion Taylor pick uh, stands out, and that's sure. The guy. But also, like we, we have to stop guys. talking about Davion Taylor like an early third round pick. It was like the last pick of the com- compensatory. It was like okay. it was like you know one oh three yeah. overall or something like that. I, I'm I'm just pointing to like the 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 way the Chiefs have rebuilt this defense and have done it mainly through the draft. And as I said, it helps when Chris Jones is a foundation piece. But the Trent McDuffie, George Karloftis are are, are just really good picks there. You know, Sneed and, you know, Jalen Watson and Joshua Williams. Uh, you can keep looking at, at at this here. They've These picks compound, and it allows you to, to spend money on the offensive and defensive lines. Like, there's a reason why the Chiefs can can sign Jawan Taylor, and there's a reason why the Chiefs can sign Joe Tooney. Uh, because when you have starters on rookie deals, it's, it's going to help you across the board. Mm-hmm. 